Hey guys, it's Josh Stoney Ridge Farmer. I'm gonna show you something that you might not know. We have a yellow jackets nest. Some people call them ground bees, hornets, wasps, yellow jackets, depending on what part of the country you're from, but we've got a yellow jackets nest. The hole is probably this big, a lot of activity. I'm gonna give you some pointers and I'm gonna show you how to kill a yellow jackets nest and it takes a little bit of time now how to kill a yellow jackets nest without using chemicals without using sprays without using anything other than electricity through a fly swatter so this is a uh, electronic fly swatter and this is a little clamp and I've got my GoPro strapped on here so come along with me and I'll show you exactly what we're doing I'll give you some tips on how to find yellow jackets nest without your lawnmower or your foot how to find them come along with me I'll tell you all about it all right Woo! Stony Bridge. So guys, what we got down here is a genuine yellow jacket's nest. It's about right here. It's on the edge of the flower bed. And I have a electronic fly swatter right here. And this is what I'm gonna use to get rid of the yellow jackets. So I've taped some Velcro around this edge and I took an old towel and I cut out underneath here. So when I sit it down on there, it will drape over top of the hole and the bees won't go in and around, okay? Then I've got my GoPro strapped on here so we can watch the bees go get zapped because who likes yellow jackets? Not me. They're not pollinators. They're only stingers, okay? So the best way to find a yellow jacket's nest in the morning and in the evening is the best time to find a yellow jacket's nest because you can see the bees flying through the air. Where the sunlight is shining on their wings, you can see them. And that's how we found this nest. I was up here having coffee with my neighbor, Mr. Varner here. Good buddy of mine, great friend. Helps out with the goats and stuff when we're not around. And keeps a guard on the house. And we also have a plan in case the you-know-what hits the fan. Nice. First thing I want to do, guys, is I want to show you the yellow jacket's nest. See this hole right here? That's where them boys are going in and out, or girls probably. And they, they're not happy bees to be around. I'm pretty close to them, and I don't want to be here for very long, so I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to show you what we're doing here. I don't want to get stung. I'm not going to get very close. But here's what we got. And I got to talk fast. I got to move fast because I don't want to get stung and that would suck. I've got the GoPro on right here and we'll go ahead and get him started. I think it's recording. Yep. Maybe. Yep. It says it's recording. So we're going to go ahead, take this GoPro. We're going to sit this right down. We're going to take a little clamp right here. And I'm going to put links down here to Amazon for all this stuff. This is a little GoPro Hero 4. Um, this is a little Irwin Quick Grip. And we're going to use the Irwin Quick, Quick Grip to hold the button down. Right here, and this little light turns on, okay? Pink is the best color because bees love pink. Doesn't matter. Here's the part where we get stupid. We're gonna set this right on top of it. Sometimes it's good to give it a little test first. A little spit works. Let's watch these bees die. Die, bees! The bees know something's up. We'll wait till there's very little activity. They know something's up. This is a busy time of day in a beehive, okay? We'll get them all in the hole here. We'll go, woof! Right over the hole. So guys, this is a little bit stressful. I want to warn you, you take a chance on getting stung. You don't take a chance on getting electrocuted. No biggie. This thing just shocks you. It's going to kill the bees. The bees are going to start piling up around it. I'm going to put the camera on here. We're going to do a little bit of a time lapse and you'll hear them start to pop. It's awesome. All right. So the bees are starting to pile up around here. I'm going to turn on the regular microphone on this, uh, camera so you're gonna hear a bunch of bug noises too but it'll be alright you're gonna see this thing actually works it's pretty awesome Thank <laughs> you. 
So we've got the electronic fly swatter sitting on the bees right here. We're going to leave it on all day long. The GoPro is still over there. It's going to get some footage. Basically, the bees will start piling up on top of this electronic fly swatter. As time goes on, the more bees pile up, the more bees get zapped, okay? They'll actually start to smoke and get burned while they're sitting on this uh, apparatus, okay? So this electronic fly swatter will zap and pop the bugs. Now, when you're going to buy an electronic fly swatter to do this, Get one that either takes DC or 9 volt batteries, okay? The more power, the better. These double A's, I'll have to replace the batteries really quickly in them because it just eats the batteries up and shorts out the thing. Best thing to do, go buy a brand new one. You don't have to put the little drape around the outside edge, the towel. It's okay, you don't have to do that. Just lay it right over and the bees will start to hit it. Eventually, it will decimate the hive enough to where it will die, or maybe even the queen comes out. I'm not sure how it all works, but it will decimate the hive enough to where it will die and you won't have to use chemicals. Pretty awesome. So guys, thanks for watching. This is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Click that like button if you like what you see. This works, okay? This is a non-chemical alternative to killing a nest of ground bees. It's cheap, it's fun, it's fun to listen, fun to watch, and it works. Click that like button, guys, if you're new to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about me. Come on back to the Stony Ridge. All right. Woo! We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your